A scandal for Northern LA County Congresswoman Katie Hill. Tonight, she's defending herself. Hill is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with one of her staffers. Well, she denies those claims and says intimate photos of her were also posted online without her consent. KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom is live in the Satellite Center with more on the Congresswoman's response. Chris? Juan and Sharon, Representative Katie Hill is fighting back against these allegations, saying this is all part of a smear campaign. Freshman Democratic Representative Katie Hill is making headlines again, this time from conservative blog Red State. I'm Katie Hill, and I'm running for Congress. The Congresswoman covers the 25th District, which includes I'm Santa Clarita, Simi Valley, Palmdale, Lancaster, and the northern part of the San Fernando Valley. She was put into the spotlight during the 2018 midterm elections. The openly bisexual Democrat beat out Republican incumbent Steve Knight, a huge victory considering the district predominantly votes Republican. Well, now she's facing a new challenge. The website claims she was in a sexual relationship with her legislative director, Graham Kelly, something that's not allowed under House ethic rules. But there's no evidence of the alleged relationship. And Representative Hill says the charges against her are absolutely false and politically motivated. Political expert Jessica Levinson. I think that it is not a coincidence that these allegations came from, originally came from a conservative website. Uh, as we get closer to the election, I think we're going to start to see more of these types of allegations. The website also posted pictures of the congresswoman and another woman saying the two were in a three-way relationship with her husband. The picture reportedly involves a campaign staff member, not a congressional staff member. Hill called for an investigation into how the photos were made public. Now the U.S. Capitol Police is investigating, but CNN says they are not commenting on the incident. It comes at a busy time since the congresswoman is vice chair of the powerful House Oversight Committee, one of the committees that's front and center for the Trump impeachment probe. She's a person who's highly visible for a number of reasons. First, openly bisexual representative. She's in this very important position in the House Oversight Committee when the House is overseeing an impeachment inquiry. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has essentially tapped her on the shoulder and said, you're a rising star in the party. I reached out to the representative. Her staff released a statement. It reads in part, the fact is I'm going through a divorce from an abusive husband who seems determined to try and humiliate me. I am disgusted that my opponents would seek to exploit such a private matter for political gain. As for constituents, we went to her district to find out what they thought about the allegations. Uh, it's a personal matter, and if it doesn't have anything to do with me or her job, then I don't think it's a big deal. The more we dig into politics with people in their personal lives is something that I try to stay out of. If it's subordinate, then that is an issue because, uh, you know, uh, you can't really abuse your <laughs> subordinates like that. But if they were on equal footing and or if it was a superior, that's a, uh, you know, that's fair game. All right, so Hill is up for re-election next year. And just last week, her team says so far, she's raised more than $2.1 million for the 2020 campaign. So as you can imagine, it's going to be another tough fight as Republicans try to win back that district. Juan, we'll send it back to you. All right, Chris, thanks so much.